Good morning, lady. Good morning. <laughs> Joel, what time is it? I don't want to look at the clock. Oh, I, I can see. 9 30. So, Joel and I are. Oh, okay. Well, camera can't be on my face. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's about well <laughs> well because you're so innocent and you love me no matter what it's what's we it's what we call um wrecked mommy looks wrecked <laughs> Learn a new you went to bed at like eight o'clock last night I went to bed at 8 30 yeah. last night um okay so all the kids were so quiet this morning watch TV and then they all came and woke us up I just called my grandpa <laughs> what did you have for breakfast this morning? Nothing. Popcorn. What did you sneak for breakfast this morning. Yeah. What did you sneak for breakfast? Okay. So Joel, I'm gonna hand the camera to you. Okay. So I wait. All the kids were in here, and this morning when I got up, I was watching um, a video by our prophet, the prophet of our church, and he has asked us to do a worldwide fast. Yep. And I want Joel to explain to the kids, which in turn will explain to you guys what fasting is. So Joel, here's the camera. <laughs> this is funny, this is how I taught fasting when I was a missionary. But I would explain it like this. Fasting is like using four-wheel drive for your prayers. Like you're just fine praying normal and your car functions normal with two-wheel drive. But if you really want to increase the spirituality, if you really want to um, show Heavenly Father that you're really are asking for something in sincerity and you need it. Oh. What? <laughs> Were you recording me? I don't, I'm recording everybody. I don't know what oh, you're doing, lady. I was like trying yeah. to make my hair a I'm little I'm trying to give more... a lesson here. <laughs> I was trying to make my hair a little more presentable. Anyway, <laughs> you can... My hair's beautiful. Shh, okay, let's listen to Dad. You can fast and pray. And Christ talked about this with his apostles quite a bit too, to help them be stronger and more spiritual men. And um, right now our <laughs> prophet has asked us as members of the church and globally as anybody that's willing to participate in a fast on Sunday. So we'll skip two meals and with that we'll have a prayer in our heart all day long and we'll start our fast Saturday night and we'll end it Sunday uh, night and we will um, be praying for help with the coronavirus and praying for those who have contracted the, uh, the disease. disease, those who have passed away from the disease. Anybody being affected by this um, in some way, which anybody and everybody is being affected in some way. Maybe not just sickness, but uh, your business isn't functioning anymore, you're, you're out of work or anything. You know, it's affecting people in so many different ways that I don't know that we thought about all the, those ways. So we're all going to start participating in this fast um, Saturday night. We'll open our fast and Sunday night we'll close our fast. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll put this little clip up for everyone on Saturday morning. So when you see it, you're, um, it'll be real time. Mm -hmm. um, we will put a link to the video from our prophet in the description. And <clears throat> you don't have to be of our faith. You don't have to believe what we believe to um, feel the impact of what we're doing or to just be aware of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and I want you to kind of just say, tell uh, tell us what, when we typically fast, so we usually fast once a month. So every, our, in our church we fast reg, uh, routinely every first Sunday of every month, the entire church as a whole fasts together. But I mean, there's been plenty of times where we've done fasting for individual things or fasting for family things, or we've done family fasts for Aunt Sonia before, I remember. And when we, well we've done family fasts for many different mm -hmm. things, but, and yes, you can see. So typically when we fast, we take the two meals that we wouldn't have eaten mm -hmm. and we donate them or the money that it would have cost to our ward. Yeah, we donate the cost of the money that we would have spent on those two meals to our ward. Mm -hmm. And uh, and those are called fast offerings. And it's fun because like even little kids pay those when I used to count mm -hmm. the money for the church. And it's meant to help the people around us. That and goes those. out directly to the members of the ward that are in need of food or financial aid at that point. So does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Is that what we do every single fast Sunday? Is that what our tithings are sometimes? Not quite. Tithing and fast offerings are a little different. Mm -hmm. But that's what we do once a month. And to clarify, what church do we belong to, Boston? Do you know? 
Jesus Christ Church. <laughs> Cody, do you know? Yeah, guess first word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know it. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. Yes. Very good. Darn it, first word. <laughs> excited for this opportunity because I feel like it will um, not only empower a lot of the members of the church or non-members as well or just anybody who's lacking in faith right now but I think it will um, I think it can produce faith to people who possibly could be lacking you know people who are struggling spiritually right now if they're not participating or if they do participate I think they could see a very strong sense of uh, spirituality in their life for that day and I think that's a that's a good blessing yeah I do too so you guys come and sit down. I would like to have a special dinner for us for Saturday night. So I kind of just want to get some ideas and maybe I'm going to get some more to record that might take us a minute. I don't know what to do for dinner. I'm trying to sit here and think. So I need to do dinner for Saturday night and then for Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Is that when? Sunday night. I said yeah. we get a zucchini that squashing we make this one yeah. yeah, that squash. Just so okay. we'll figure it out. You guys Thank you so much for watching. Um, we hope, oh, I can't even take myself seriously. <laughs> um, we ho genuinely hope you, oh, I can't, I can't look at myself. You're fine. Just don't look at yourself. We genuinely hope that you guys are doing well. Um, we, we are doing well and I hope that, I don't know, I don't have any really words of encouragement, do you? Just keep trying. Just yeah. keep at it. Actually, I will say this, if any kid is having a hard time understanding why we can't go to grandma and grandpa's or why we can't go places, it's Bosty. Huh? No, Mom, grandma and grandpa aren't sick. I know. <laughs> he just wants to go visit grandma and grandpa. It's not ten, it's not ten people, it's only eight. <laughs> it's so funny that he knows that. <laughs> Yep, if anyone is having a hard time, it's Boston. Why can't we go to Grandma? Lincoln is oblivious, and these two are old enough to kind of understand, so. I miss Grandma and Grandma. What? I miss Grandma and Grandma. I know. And do you know what? I think they miss you too. I want to go to their house. I know. Because then that would be something to do in the car, and we could play at their house. Yeah, why don't you say, tell them you love them. Say, Grandma and Grandpa, I love you. I love you, Grandma Grandpa. Which ones, though? Both. <laughs> I know. That's what I was hoping you would family. say. <laughs>